Welcome back. James is here from Will Height Landscaping this morning as our spring gardening saga continues. Yes. Even though it doesn't necessarily feel oh, like spring. My goodness, no. Well, it does kind of feel like the beginning of spring, but it's certainly too wet to be getting out in your garden right now. We just got to get ahead of it and start prepping. Well, you know, that's why I brought this handy little box. We can do this and we don't have to worry too much about it. We've got the seeds that we started a couple of weeks this ago. This is giving me hope because we, we did this here. That's not the giving me any hope. They sat out in the cool weather <laughs> all week and you can see they didn't grow one inch. They just sat there all week. It's just cool. These are the potatoes that we uh, cut up and this is what a potato will look like when they sprout and potatoes and and uh, the, the carrots are something that, I'm sorry carrots peas and onions are things that we're going to talk about and those are all early the potatoes you plant uh, early February and this is what they're going to look like when they pop up you, ne you ne definitely need to protect potatoes from a hard freeze so once they come up to this stage, if we start looking like we're getting a good freeze or a frost, you gotta cover those. Now, onions are a little different story. They're much more, much more viable. They don't have so much trouble when it gets cold. Uh, and I wanted to show, again, I don't plant potatoes and onions in these little trays. I go straight to the ground with them. However, I just wanted to show you what an onion would look like planted. You don't plant them very deep. It's really just about that deep. It's very, very shallow. They will grow, and as long as you kind of expose the bulb, they will continue to bulb up and make a nice big onion. Otherwise, they're just a long, skinny onion. That's just part of the process of growing them. The two things I really wanted to talk about today, carrots getting to be time to get your carrots in the ground. Kids love carrots. Mm -hmm. That's one of those deals you can kind of grow carrots and get kids into gardening. But more importantly, peas. I love the sugar snap peas in the spring. And they're one of the ones that you really have to get going early. If you get too late behind the, the curve on the, on the peas, you'll get nice finds. You just don't get many peas. The, the sugar snap or the sweet pea loves the cold weather. So if you have an inclination that you want to try and get some of those and grow them, now's the time to do it. And you know, perfect for the patio. Take a nice container, one of those uh, tomato cages, plant a dozen peas around the bottom of that. And, and then you they'll will, grow up. They will grow up through that and you will be able to pick sugar snap peas to have in your salad or just eat right there on the patio as you stand there and admire your plant. Peas are very easy to grow, very easy, nice big seed, easy to hold on to, easy to get planted, great project for kids. There you go, and then you can, if you put it on the patio, you can brag about it when your neighbors come Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Look, look what I did, because yeah, James showed me. Yeah, just pull a pea off and hand it to them, <laughs> and, and they'll get a chance to taste a, a fresh sugar snap pea. Sounds good. James, where can people find you if they have any questions? Oh, they can always look us up online, uh, give us a call. We're happy to visit about, uh, you know, anything that somebody's got a question about, if they just want to talk and say, well, you know, I. I think I understood you right, but you talk so fast and you jumped around so much, I didn't catch that part. Happy to talk to you on the phone, or you can just look us up online, willheightlandscape.com. Always a pleasure. Thank you, James. My Co pleasure. Coming